Hi, this is Tim. Today's video comes from a user question. Anthony asks, where is the reset for the TON instruction in Connected Components Workbench? Well, there isn't one, but we can make one. But first, let's make sure we understand what the reset instruction does in Studio 5000 and RS Logix 500. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put in the comments. Just like this video, your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. Here's the help on the reset instruction, and it says the RES instruction resets a timer, counter, or control structure. And if we scroll on down, then we're going to see for the timer, it sets the ACC value to zero and the control status bits to false. And also here's the counter, which does the exact same thing. It's going to set the ACC to zero and the control status bits to false. On the TON instruction, if we scroll down, and mainly we want to see what happens when a wrong condition in is false. And it's going to do the exact same thing. It sets the EN bit to false. It sets the TT bit to false and the DN bit to false, which are the three status bits it was talking about in the reset instruction. And then it sets the AC value to zero. So making the conditions preceding the TON false, we'll do the exact same thing as a reset instruction. Now let's see how we can do this. And let's use switch one, which I have wired to input four. So we're going to use a direct contact examine if closed of input number four. And then let's go to timer and counter tab and bring down a TON instruction. And let's just make our preset time T number 10 S. And well, just so it does something, let's go ahead and add another wrong and give it a visual here. Let's make the green light come on when the timer is done or the cue bit is set. So we'll go to favorites, add a direct contact, and now we're going to look for that TON1 cue bit. And we'll use an output energize for output zero, which I have wired to the green light. And now let's add another rung and let's use the red button, which say zero one. So that's input two. So we use a direct contact for input two. And then let's use an output energize. And here I'm just going to create a variable and I'm going to call this reset timer and that'll be a boolean type and also yeah i should have i should have labeled these and made it a little clearer on us let's go ahead and throw some labels in there so input number four is going to be switch one and input two is going to be the red button and then we're using Output zero, which is the green light. Okay, that makes it a little clearer what's going on here. So I made this local reset timer, which is tied to this red button. So if I use a reverse contact or an examine if open, and I put it right in line with our TON instruction and address that reset timer, then whenever I hit the reset button, it's going to make this wrong false, which is going to do the same thing as the reset instruction did. So let's go ahead and download this program. And if you need any help downloading your program, creating new programs, any of that, we have videos on all that. And I'll put a link to it in the description. Okay, so we're online and we're in run mode. And if we switch switch one, then our timer here starts timing up. And we'll go ahead and let it time out to 10 seconds just so we can see that the green light is going to come on. All right, now we want to reset our timer. So if I hit 
the red button, immediately we should see the green light go out. Also, we should see the timer here, the elapsed time go to zero. So I'm gonna press the green button and the green light went out. And yes, our elapsed time went to zero. And just like in a typical reset, as long as I'm holding the button, it continues to reset that timer. So we let off, it's gonna start timing back up. Even before it gets there, we can hit the red button again and it's gonna take it back to zero. We let off. And after 10 seconds, the light comes on again. So there's how you can create a reset instruction for a timer or a counter in ladder programming of Connected Components Workbench. Again, please hit that like button on this video and thank you, Anthony, for asking this question. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.